Hello, this is Rupinder Syal and welcome again to Spartan Tutorials. Now, before the COVID-19 vaccines were developed and a particular drug regime was introduced for treatment of COVID-19 patients, many alternative therapies and drug treatments were proposed that could work against COVID-19 and one of them was Ivermectin. Indian government also until recently had prescribed Ivermectin in mild patients of COVID-19. But is there any evidence that it actually works against COVID-19? And that's what we are going to discuss today. So let's get started. Now, what is Ivermectin? Ivermectin is this structure, this compound, it is produced by a bacterium Streptomyces evermitilis, which is usually found in soil. It was initially discovered in Japan and it produces this compound as well as a family of these compounds. There are eight related compounds which are all, almost of the same structure by fermentation. That is the anaerobic burning of glucose. It was discovered by Professor Satoshi Omura, who recently was awarded the Nobel Prize also for discovering these drugs. So what does this drug treat? It treats this disease called intestinal strongyloidiasis, which is caused by strongyloids stercoralis. This is a nematode and you can see it causes these lesions in the patients where you can see the larva migrating through the back of the patient. So this is one of the diseases that it is used against. It is very effective. Another is onchocerciasis, which is also sometimes called river blindness. River blindness is the second most common form of blindness caused by infections after trachoma, which is caused by chlamydia. Now, onchocerciasis is caused by this nematode, Onchocerca volvulus, very endemic in Africa. It causes huge numbers of cases of blindness every year, and it is spread by this black fly of the genus Simulium. So, ivermectin definitely works. It works for these parasitic infections. And what is the mechanism of action of this drug? Here you can see the structure of ivermectin bound to the glutamate gated. Glutamate is an amino acid, glutamic acid. Glutamate gated chloride channel. This is found in the nerve cells of invertebrates as well as vertebrates. And what happens is ivermectin basically opens this gated ion channel permanently. So it leads to hyperpolarization because of the continuous entry of the chloride ions into the nerve cells and it leads to paralysis and that leads to death of the parasite. Now the interest in ivermectin came from research coming out in 2020 where people showed that it inhibits the replication of coronavirus in vitro. And here is the data from that paper. You can see the relative viral RNA after one to two days of treatment went really, really down. This was like less than 1%. And they also showed that at about five micromolar concentration, you could have almost complete elimination of the parasite. Now, this was a very promising result and it still is a promising result. But the problem is more with pharmacokinetics. That is, how is the drug delivered to the system? And that was proposed in a later study. So this was in June 2020, where they looked at the pharmacokinetic behavior of this drug. And they found that no matter how much you raise the concentration, so I told you that the inhibitory concentration, this is called IC50, is about 2.5 micromolar. So you need roughly 5 micromolar to reach very good inhibitory concentration. It will eliminate the parasite. But the problem is ivermectin binds to blood proteins very tightly as well as other cellular proteins very tightly. And that leads to exceedingly low plasma concentrations. So the free, free plasma concentration in micromoles, and here is the in vitro effective concentration. You can see no, no matter how much they try to raise this, it never came even close to the effective concentration. 
So this is to deal with the pharmacokinetics. That means you can supply the drug. Of course, it is effective, but the problem is it will never reach its target. Okay? It will never be free in the plasma so that you can have the effective concentration, the effective dose. And this is the drug that they tried the last data point. This is eight times the kind of toxic limit. So the limit that FDA had set for ivermectin, this was eight times that, and it was still not anywhere close to that effective concentration. So that's why it was a good in vitro result, but failed in vivo. Later on, some other studies came out, which showed that it was effective and it had you know some effect on a reduction of symptoms as well as reduced mortality. But the problem as shown in this paper, where they took 280 patients, where they had 173 treated with ivermectin, 107 without ivermectin, so that's their control. But the problem is here, most patients in both groups also received many other drugs, hydroxychloroquine, azithromycin or both. Now the problem is this will confound their results. They should have tested only ivermectin and the control and this should have been a randomized placebo based double blind controlled clinical trial. It was not double blind. It was not a blind trial actually at all. And that's why they say that ivermectin as treatment was associated with lower mortality, but randomized control trials are needed to confirm these findings. So this is still a preliminary result. This is part of drug development. That's why drug development is pretty slow because you have preliminary data from vitro studies and then you go to smaller trials and then to larger trials to confirm that you have got a very good candidate drug. And this was not proving to be the case. So NIH, after looking at all the evidence, they issued a set of recommendations that we do not recommend ivermectin. Here is their statement. There are insufficient data for the COVID-19 treatment guide guidelines panel to recommend either for or against the use of ivermectin. So they are really not sure. So when you have other treatments available, for example, corticosteroids, I think those are much better options for treating COVID-19 patients than ivermectin. And this is the surprising part. Even the manufacturer of the drug, which gains a lot, you can see the COVID-19 is a pandemic. You can probably sell millions of doses if there is a favorable clinical trial which shows that ivermectin is effective. But the manufacturer Merck or MSD as it is known outside US, it itself issued a statement that we do not support the use of ivermectin against COVID-19. Of course, it is good for onchocerciasis or the other parasitic infections, but they said that there is no scientific basis for a potential therapeutic effect against COVID-19, no meaningful evidence for clinical activity or clinical efficacy, and a concerning lack of safety data. This, these are three very significant concerns. There's no scientific basis, no evidence, and this is a company which stands to benefit, which stands to gain crores of rupees of thousands and millions of dollars if the drug is adopted by doctors and patients. So even they are not endorsing it because they don't want to be risking the lives of so many people on an unproven treatment. But Indian government, I think by looking at the evidence, I think maybe they were not uh, informed or maybe you know they hadn't looked at all the evidence, but they recommended ivermectin for mild cases of COVID-19. In this uh, recommendation from 19th of May 2021, so that's even less than last month, they included tablet of ivermectin, but they also included hydroxychloroquine. This is also one of the unproven drugs. Thankfully, later on they removed, so as of 8th of June, they have removed ivermectin from the list. So Director of General Health Services, which is part of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, revised their list of approved drugs for COVID-19 patient management and they removed many drugs, including ivermectin from the list. So I think that's a sign of relief. But the problem is, you know, many doctors are slow to catch up to these recommendations. I hope they stay current with the guidelines and even the patients should stay current with the guidelines and should not pressure the doctors to prescribe them ivermectin because it leads to more and more black marketing and just spreading of misinformation and unproven treatments. 
So that was my discussion of ivermectin. It is not a drug that you want for treatment of COVID-19. There are other systematic drug options available. And as always, get the vaccine, Covaxin, Covishield, Sputnik V, whatever you want to get. Please get it as soon as possible. And there are other treatment regimes for COVID-19. So follow those and follow the ministry guidelines. But definitely ivermectin is not one of those working treatments. So I hope you like this discussion. Please let me know in your comments. Uh, if you have any doubts, comments or questions about this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.